Today we're going to talk about how I turned my Mac Mini M4 into a portable computer that I could easily put into my backpack and carry around. The reason why this idea interests me a lot because the Mac Mini M4 so far is the only Mac that is both capable of doing intensive things, also has a very reasonable price. Having said that, lots of people will plan to buy it, but the portability aspect could be the deal breaker for them. So if you are one of them, just keep in mind that you could turn your Mac Mini M4 into a portable Mac after watching this video. So the whole idea started when Uberfix sent me this OLED monitor for reviewing. And by the time I received it, I found out that beside the monitor and some accessory, it does come with a magnetic cover case, which I think many desire to protect this glossy screen. But also with just a few folding steps, it can easily turn into a stand. And after doing this for the first time, I was thinking why don't I put the Mac Mini right behind the case so everything kind of joy into a single unit. So I did that and this is the first prototype. But I mean, it's look kind of weird and funny, right? Then I decided to buy a separate Mac Mini case and put some hook and loop strip on each side of the case, making it easy to attach and detach the Mac Mini from the monitor case. Now, the last step is to connect the monitor to the Mac Mini M4 and I found the original cable was a bit too long, so I tied up to keep things as tidy as possible. Uberfake also sent me these two USAP adapters which allow the USB-C cable to be perfectly hidden under the monitor. And as a result, I can barely see any wires or even the Mac Mini itself from this viewing angle. It just makes me feel like working directly with an iPad. For the keyboard and mouse, I'm using the Magic Keyboard and the Magic Mouse to keep the setup clean and minimal. But to be honest, they are not the most comparable combo, but they are super light and portable, so I guess they fit the vibe pretty well. So the setup is complete, my Mac Mini now is 90% portable. While it's not 100% since it doesn't have its own battery, right? Technically, I could attach an AC power bank to the back, but I decided not to because I think to keep the Mac and the monitor running at their best, they need a reliable power source. But if you found a way to make it fully portable, please let me know in the comments so maybe we could give it a try next time. So I did not set the whole thing up just to make the videos. I've actually been using it as my main computer for the past two weeks to test how parking is really easy and here are some of my thoughts first of all super portable and looks really great on my desk mostly thanks to the Uncha Slim monitor it is incredibly thin with the upper half just 3.5 mm thick even thinner than the iPad M4 what funny is the monitor only weighed 1.6 pounds on its own and the Mac Mini M4 as another 1.5 pounds, bringing the total setup to around 3.5 pounds that is still lighter than a MacBook Pro M4 which weighed around 4.7 pounds. And yes, I totally agree that it is not as flexible as a MacBook but taking this setup on the go like go to the coffee shop or moving from table to another table isn't really a bad idea, right? One thing worth mentioning is the resolution. This monitor has a pretty high resolution OLED panel with a 3 K display and a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. When I'm using it for media consumption, watching high quality videos, I can feel the color getting richer and way deeper compared to the regular mini LED monitor. And if you're a graphic designer or video editor, you know that color accuracy is the most important thing to consider when it comes to buying a new monitor, right? So this O2 monitor support 100% DCI P3 color gamut, which offer a wider range of colors for more visual and greater color accuracy. Whether you're working on photos, videos, or any creative project, the color on this display are spot on, making it a solid choice for anyone who need a monitor with precise color. The display also works great with own kind of lighting, whether you are indoor or outside. Its high contrast ratio and finer nits of brightness ensure everything remains clear and readable even in a bright environment. And it's not just great for work, this setup is perfect for gaming too. With the Mac Mini powerful spec and the monitor 120Hz refresh rate and 1ms response time, 
gameplay feels more smooth and responsive. You will notice in fast-paced FPS games like CSGO, it runs super smoothly, aiming feel more precise, and the character movement looks and feels really natural. For open world games like GTA V, it looks noticeably more vibrant and immersive. So whether on its own or as part of the Mac Mini setup, this O2 monitor can handle everything from working to gaming. But if you interest, if you seriously want to buy this monitor, please listen to some of my advice after two weeks of using it. So the first advice is if you plan to use it for an extended work session, make sure to connect both cables, one for the video signal and another one for power delivery. This ensures the monitor has a reliable connection and it can reach its maximum brightness. Secondly, if you rather not use the physical button to adjust brightness and volumes, just download a free application called Better Display. It will let you to customize display setting directly from your menu bar. Give you more setting for your monitor, like changing display color profiles, upscaling brightness, and many more configuration. The next tip would be helpful if you are thinking about using the O2 as a second monitor for your main computer. Consider getting the kickstand since it already has the visa mount ready to use in the back. I've tried using the O2 as a vertical monitor for my MacBook a few times and it is a truly fun and practical experience. And now it's probably the best time to grab this monitor. It's currently 45% off of the original price and with everything it's offered, it's absolutely worth the value. So check out the link in the description to learn more about this O2 monitor and send big thanks to Uperfect for sending me this sample so I can make this review. And there's so much more you could do with this monitor. It's not just about like connect with the Mac ecosystem device. You can connect it with the PC, you can even connect it with your phone or like uh, I saw some people they connect with the game handheld to make it like a portable setup. So make sure to check them out, like I will leave some of the relevant videos in the description and uh, do you have any questions about the setup? Do you have any ideas to make the setup better? Feel free to let them down in the comment below and thank you all for watching uh, and catch you on the next one. Goodbye.